All right, this guy without a doubt will be one of the leaders on the LSU defense and the LSU team all overall this year. Jay Ward, Jay, good seeing you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, I remember all the great moments in your career. I mean, going all the way back to blocking that field goal at Arkansas in 2020. It's, you've had some good times here, and now you're in your last year, huh? Yes, sir. How's it feel? I feel good. I don't came a long way. I remember, like, my first two seasons, I've been hurt. So, you know, last year I missed two games. I'm just trying to keep it healthy and have a good season. Yeah. Tell me about this defense this year. It seems like, I mean, there's going to be a lot predicated up front. Let's just start with that D-line and those monsters you got with Jaqueline and Mason Smith and Allie Gay and B.J. Ojolari. It seems like those guys are going to create some havoc. Yeah, I'm glad they came back because it started off with them. And they're going to get a plenty of pressure on, uh, on the offense next year. So they're going to help me increase my stop and get more in the season. You love it when those guys uh, force a quarterback just to throw one up and there you are to eat it up, huh? Yeah, start off with them. Like, how they play depends on how the back end plays. We feed off them. Yeah, absolutely. And the linebackers right behind those guys. Tell me about those linebackers because we got Micah Baskerville back and uh, I get Mike Jones Jr., right? See, both of them smart and both of them play like sideline to sideline. They always near the ball. Yeah. Mike, he just can run like the wind, huh? Yeah, Mike like a, a, a bigger nickel. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the secondary, okay? Because, I mean, I don't know enough about it at this point, but it seems like there's some people questioning the secondary. Is the secondary going to be good? you got a lot of new pieces. you got two guys from Arkansas coming in, right? So how is that shaping up? Well, feeding off them, like, they came and fit right in our program. And like they, they been selling from where they played at previously, like from their school. Like we got Seven Bank, Greg Brooks, Joe Fouché, um, you got Makai, and you got Jar. Like they sell their, their school. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna do the same here. Yeah. As a senior this year and as a veteran leader, what what are you looking? I mean, what do you feel like your role is this year in terms of the locker room, the field, off the field? I feel like. I feel like my role is to make sure like we all on one one page and we feeding off each other. You have you had a new coach come in, Brian Kelly's your new head coach. Tell me about what has changed, what's been the approach since December when he got hired? I mean like leadership, like we I've been held to a higher standard on and off the field. He's going to class too, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, I've talked to several of your teammates here, and they all say that graduating is important. Getting your degree is important. You know, sometimes people say, "Oh, he's at LSU. It's a football power. It's about winning games." But certainly, it appears like that's been a big, uh, you know, focal point. Now, now I feel like I'll go, I, I will graduate anyway because like that ball will run out of air one day. <laughs> you didn't need any motivation, is what you're saying. You were on track to do that anyway. Yes, sir. Okay. What about your new secondary coaches? How are they How are they working out? They're uh, coming out all, all along. Yeah. All right. Was there anything else you want to add or, uh, or, or say about the upcoming season? Go Tigers. We'll be back in that national championship this year. Back in that national championship 2022. You got a ring from 19? Yes, sir, I do. Yeah. So you've seen this thing go up and down, and now you're ready to see it go back up. Huh? Yeah, I've been on a bumper roller coaster. It's time to take it back up tonight. <laughs> there you go. All right, Jay Ward, appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for stopping by. Well, I don't know if I remember a guy that transferred from the Raging Cajuns to the LSU Tigers in football. I think this is a pretty unique situation for you in the new transfer portal world. And Makai Gardner joins me right now, very talented uh, cornerback. Makai, how are you enjoying Baton Rouge so far? Man, I love it here, man. I can't complain. The people, the fans, the environment. It's a great, great community. Great community. They're, they're all kind of the same. They're, they're different, but they're the same, right? Yeah. Lafayette people, Baton Rouge people. Oh, yeah, for sure. For love sure. their football, love their food. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree. Well, tell me, how is this secondary coming about? You had the spring. You had, uh, you're had you now in the summer in the strength and conditioning. Well, how do you feel about the secondary? Um, I, I feel like we're coming, we're coming together as a whole. Uh, Jari just came back off his injury. You know, he's a big addition to our um, secondary. And then we have Seven coming in, too, who's like another veteran with me and Jari just coaching up the young, the younger guys. So, I mean, we're coming together in, yeah. in, a, in a cornerback room. I think back in the spring you told me that you just felt very strongly about the fact that you guys were all getting along and had good chemistry and oh. all that. So that's just going to continue through oh. the summer and, yep. and whatnot. Coach Flint, the strength and conditioning, what's that been like? 
he's done a phenomenal job with everybody. Um, he's gotten a lot of people faster and also a lot of people bigger too, and also keeping us healthy at the same time. So I mean, that's that's probably the biggest thing. Like he's done a phenomenal job with us. Yeah, you kind of look like a linebacker. Yeah, right I, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. I get that a lot. <laughs> um, well, I just talked to Jay Ward here. I mean, that, that's a that's a great senior leader to have back there too, right? It is for sure. Guys like him. You know, for, uh, plus the uh, transfer that just came in with me, Joe, Greg, Jarek, Seven, you know, all the veterans, we're all veterans, but we all seen different things. But us coming together as one it will be like, it will be phenomenal. When we're all on one page, uh, when we get into the fall camp, it's going to be a phenomenal uh, year for us. Awesome. You played for a great one in Billy Napier, who's now the head coach of Florida. Tell me about Brian Kelly. What's it been like to, uh, what impact has he had on you in this short period of time? I say, um, to me, he has made me realize like how critical and how important the small things are compared to the bigger things, and that will win us games. The small things will win us games. So I, that's what I feel like he's uh, affected to me and the, and the rest of these players around here that he's focused, made us realize that the smaller things are important than the bigger things. And we've had this theme, too, of graduate champions, graduate champions. Uh, Coach Kelly told us, well, if a guy doesn't cut class, then he won't jump off sides, too. Right, right? like it all, right. all plays in. I agree. And then when it took, when the, so the graduate champions, I think that's, I think that's like a great thing. Like, when he, when he first walked in, like, um, Coach Kelly ma mainly was contributing to our grades. And over the spring, our, G, our um, team GPA has increased. 4%, which is may not be a big thing, but when he first got here, you know what I'm saying, there were a lot of people under the, under the standard, so now he's just getting everybody above the standard, holding us to a higher standard. Well, I know fans love to hear that. They love to hear about accountability and responsibility and, and yeah. all those kind of things. And, um, and now it, it, approaching the season, uh, what, what do you feel like are, are, are the, uh, the goals of this team? What does this team want to accomplish uh, moving forward here? I think the first thing is dominating fall camp. After fall camp, you know, starting the season off 1-0 and becoming more of a family and let everything else just handle, handle itself. Yeah, good deal. All right, well, um, anything else you want to add or uh, anything we should touch upon before you? Uh, no, you I, think, I, think, no, I think we're good. Um, oh, and also um, I'm releasing a, um, my brand, uh, Heavy Temp. If you haven't seen or if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, at Easy with three A's, uh, 20, you know, I'm releasing a, a heavy temp movement. And what is it? Tell me, I, don't, um, I haven't heard about it, so let me know. <laughs> so when I feel heavy temp is something that I've came up with, you know, I've been trying to come up with something that, that means something deeper than, than what it actually stands for. And so when you think of like heavyweight champions, you think of like Muhammad Ali's and the Mike, the Mike Tyson's type of guy, but they don't just wake up you know, a heavy, uh, heavyweight champ. You know, they had to survive, they had to grind, they had to like go through a lot of things just to get where they're at. And I feel like that I've, that I've done that same type of grind, that same type of survive, that, that same type of grit, the same type of mindset of waking up and, and being, a, you know, want to be a champion. I feel like I'm a heavy champ of my environment, of my, of my past, of, my, of things that I've went through. So that's yeah. how I came up with the heavy champ. Good deal, man. All right, well, I'll look it up and I'll read about it then. All right. Thank you, sir. No problem. Appreciate your time.